Welcome back guys to another video. Let's talk about two options that you guys should definitely buy for next week and also the rest of this week. Now obviously you guys may be wondering why am I introducing Apple? Isn't Apple an extremely stable stock? And yeah, it's pretty boring. Why are you recommending this? And I've recommended Apple a few times in the past because it's such a great stock to play. It's having a slow and stable increase all the time, which makes it really great for iron condors, put credit spreads, and maybe even call credit spreads. So right now, Apple is just chilling right now at $123, and there's several big catalysts. Now, Apple has dropped from $143, meaning if you buy some really in-the-money leaps with high deltas that expire maybe several months out, you may be able to control several hundreds of shares of Apple technically and really ride the wave up. I know if you buy weeklies, if you buy options are super out the money, it's really hard to make money. But trust me on this, I feel like if you buy some Apple leaps and hold it for the next six months, you may be well rewarded because there's some pretty big catalyst that is coming up for Apple stock. So right now, US Bank is essentially upgrading Apple to a major buy. UBS is a very, very big bank and they usually give out very conservative price targets. So seeing them upgrading Apple from $115 to $142 is a pretty big shocker. It's not just because of the iPhone, but because of their self-driving technology and also their LiDAR and electric vehicles. Because Apple is apparently trying to make their own electric vehicle to go against Tesla, which everyone is saying that is Tesla's biggest enemy. So if you check out Apple, if they're making an electric vehicle, this is really big. And the reason why the share prices haven't really reacted is because it's not even confirmed at all. But here's the thing. When there's a major Apple leaks out there, it's most likely true. Apple is also working on a concept Apple Glass that doesn't use lasers, which is honestly pretty big as well. And last but not least, Apple is going to be building a battery-based solar energy storage project in California, which essentially makes it a battery company as well. I think Apple is going pretty deep into the electric industry and the other clean energy industry. Just like what Chamath Pad Havatia said, billionaires become really rich. Just like what Chamath Pad Havatia said, if you want to be rich like a multimillionaire or a billionaire, you have to go into clean energy. Apple is seeing that making smartphones, making software, streaming, yes, that makes a lot of money, but the stock isn't really going to grow. The whole entire company is already $2 trillion market cap, and the only way to get up to $3 trillion is simply try to get more things into the company. Clean energy, electric vehicles, battery storage. This is why UBS here, US Bank, upgraded Apple all the way to $142, giving it a massive valuation. So here's how you play Apple. That's enough of me rambling on. Obviously, you guys play weeklies or monthlies, but what I recommend is dragging all the way out to September 17th and you can buy calls. I recommend buying calls for the $145 mark. Right now, it's $358. If it does hit this price tag, you could be looking at 300, 400% gains on Apple, which is honestly pretty sweet. If you check out the implied volatility, the reason why I say this is because the implied volatility is super low at 31%. And also the open interest on this contract is pretty high, meaning that there's actually several individuals that own a lot of these contracts. And so far, $145 is like the perfect Goldilocks zone. Now, if you want to play Apple super long term, if you have some money, I highly recommend the January 21st, 2022 call option. I recommend dragging all the way down to the $100 strike price. And yes, this contract is $2,700, but hey, the delta is actually pretty high at 0.8, meaning for every dollar that Apple goes up, you gain $80. Now, if you buy 100 shares of Apple, it costs roughly $12,000. And $12,000, you have a delta of one because shares are shares. They're like the purest thing on earth. And if Apple goes up a dollar, Apple goes up $100. But here's the thing. You got to buy a total of $12,000 worth of Apple. So here it is. If you check out Leaps, this is very simple to recognize. I guess we'll say five of these contracts will equal roughly the same value as 100 shares of Apple. So if you check out five of these contracts, it's roughly $13,000. If you buy 100 shares of Apple, it's roughly $12,000. So here's the thing, five times 80 is roughly 400. So every dollar that Apple goes up, these leaps gain $400 instead of $100 if you spend that money on shares. Do you get what I'm saying? I know leaps are a little bit confusing, but this is probably one of the best ways to play Apple if you're long on it. And if you feel like Apple could definitely go from 122 all the way up to 145, you're looking at massive amounts of gains, tens of thousands of dollars right here. So I repeat it one more time. The delta is 80, meaning that for every dollar this contract goes up, you get 80 bucks. But since you got five contracts for every dollar you go up, you get $400 and $400 is way better than $100 if you bought 
100 shares of Apple. So honestly though, screw shares. I don't even like shares. Options are the way to go, especially options are in the money with high delta. I don't really recommend anything with a delta lower than 0.8. I feel like it's a bare minimum. So you get what I'm saying here. If you wanna buy Apple shares, and if you wanna be long on Apple shares, instead of buying 100 shares, why not buy four or five of these options for the same amount of price as 100 shares of Apple, but you get four to five times the exposure of Apple. It's so much better. It's kinda of like getting on margin before margin was even a thing. That's what it is. The last play I'm gonna show you guys is Amazon. Amazon is extremely stable, meaning that the share prices almost never drop below 2,900, and the share prices never go above 3,100. And right now, the share prices are going up and down, back and forth, and I feel like the perfect word to play Amazon is obviously some iron condors. Right now, it's a perfect time because tech is slowly recovering, but at the same time, it's also staying pretty flat. With the economy, also China, American tensions going on, I feel like tech stocks may go up, but they may not go up that much, which really leads to a pretty flat market. So we will be making an iron condor at Amazon. Now, iron condors at Amazon, I said this before, is a little bit hard to get a fill, but it's not that difficult. I think 70, 80% chance you should be able to get a fill and really rake in the nice premiums. So let's make a pretty good iron condor. I don't really think Amazon could go below $3,000. That's a massive floor value right here. So you sell a put and then buy a put right here. And let's go all the way up. Let's do a call credit spread to complete this iron condor. I highly doubt that Amazon could go above this price tag, $3,170. Sell a call and buy a call right there. It should say iron condor. Click continue, click one, review the order. So our collateral is roughly $500, but you get a minimum credit of $215, which is honestly really not that bad. So essentially you don't really want Amazon to go above your sell call leg, which is $3,170. And for each penny that goes above this will be a dollar knocked off for collateral. Now, if it's already above like, you know, 500 pennies, which is five bucks, you essentially lose all of your collateral and it just simply goes bye-bye. Now, if you go all the way down here, we initially picked a sell put leg of $3,000. Remember this? So essentially the iron condor and also the share prices, it cannot go below $3,000. If it does, every penny below 3,000 will be a dollar knocked off for collateral. So it'll just keep going, keep going, keep going until you lose all of your collateral. And obviously if it's below your buy call or your buy put, you lose all of your collateral, but the good news is you just get to keep a minimum credit. Now here's the thing, the bid and ask. This is one of the biggest things that people keep talking about. It's really far apart, meaning the fills are really difficult. Now keep in mind that the price fluctuations for the Amazon iron condors and spreads are extremely fluctuating. It's always going up and down and it's really hard to get a fill, but it's not impossible. Several individuals do get fills. Right now it's $215. If you just put $205 or $210, you should be able to get a fill. And fair warning on spreads, when you play them, please close them before the official expiration day. It's really, really dangerous if you guys don't. The official expiration day that we picked was 4 p.m. April 9th. So close it like 3.55 p.m. April 9th. If you don't, you have a chance of getting a sign. It's extremely rare, but if you do, your whole account gets blown up. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Definitely check out Coinbase. Link in the description below. There's a Coinbase link. Click on it, make a Coinbase account, deposit some money, and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. I mean, they're literally giving you guys free money to open an account and deposit cash. And by the way, definitely check out the Discord servers in the description as well. There's a private one and a community one, and that's about it.